Hello, it's your boy Davidoff. Welcome back to Premier League Predictions. I was just live streaming and I realised, wait, I forgot to record this video. So now here I am. I was going to end the stream in a bit anyway, so it's like, uh, I was just like, you know what? <laughs> Let's get off the stream now. Um, yeah, I did, you know, I mean, I did, got 7 out of 14 outcomes wise. Obviously, we got the 10 games plus the 4 uh, games in hand for certain teams. One exact score, and that was for Santa Fe Everton. Got that 2 0 scoreline. Arsenal Brentford, I was a goal off, got the result. Uh, Chelsea Palace, a few goals off. Um, what else is there? Uh, <laughs> Wolves Leicester, a goal off. I said 2 0, it was 2 1. Um, and Arsenal Wolves. <laughs> Once again, that's three times I predicted 2 0 in a game and it finished 2 1. Interesting. <laughs> anyway, on to match day 27. And we've got the 10 games. Yeah, I think it's just 10 games. No, plus that. But I've already predicted it. This is meant to take place in January. Burnley v Leicester. Uh, it is now going to be played on Tuesday. My prediction at the time was 2-1 to Leicester. I'm going to change that. Or do I? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, no yes I am. Normally when, I, when this happens, I just stick with my original prediction. But... Considering recent events and Burnley obviously with a couple wins one against Spurs and Leicester have obviously been, not been winning for a while They did win today in the Conference League, but that is the Conference League um, And I think because they played on Thursday night as well, maybe They might be a bit knackered. I could be wrong. Uh, confidence might be low um, But Burnley away is always tough regardless of the context um, Most of the time anyway, but I think it will be a 2-2 draw Yes, yes, 2-2 two, two draw. Um, right, let's, let's predict uh, uh, downwards. Santa v Norwich, massive game. Um, Santa's obviously in great form, but it's massive for Norwich. Obviously, they're down here, they need to win games. Can they win this one? I don't think so. I'm going to go for a 2-0 Southampton victory. Clean sheet, comfortable win, I think. Leeds v Spurs. Um, Leeds have not won in a while, and recently they lost 3-0 to Everton. 4-2 to Man United and 6-0 uh, to Liverpool. So it's not like they're doing very well. They even lost to Newcastle. Um, Newcastle obviously been bit, been a bit better form recently, as you can see. But still, they were really bad at one point. But they've improved since then. Um, the point is, Leeds are not really that reliable. Um, <laughs> but I guess at the moment, they could beat Spurs. Spurs have, won, Spurs have lost four of the last five. Right, uh, their one win against Man City away. A great win to be fair, that was a very good game to watch. Um, I didn't like the outcome, but it was entertaining. Uh, um, it, it was funny seeing City lose at least, but yeah, Spurs did well in that game, but then they went and lost to Burnley. They lost previous games before that. Uh, just a very up and down team. <laughs> um, I think them losing to Leeds is possible, but I'm going to go for a 1 1 draw. But I feel like if any team wins this, it's Spurs. Despite what I just said. Um, Leeds are just not that good at the moment. And they get, they've been getting smashed. Confidence won't be very high. But maybe it might be a chance to fight back, bounce back. Because obviously they, they need the points at the moment. Because they're close to the drop. They don't want to be there. You've got Brentford, Leeds, Everton. They're all... They're all teams that I wouldn't think would have gone down like a few months ago, but considering where, this, where they are now, how the season has gone, they're very close to the bottom three. <laughs> now, I'm still convinced that Norwich and Watford will go down. I think these two will go down by the end of the season. I thought Burnley would go down too. Uh, maybe, I, I guess, now to be fair, it was I said Newcastle at one point. I think I said Burnley, Newcastle, uh, Norwich, I think. But now I think Norwich, Watford... I'm not sure about the third, to be honest, because Burnley seem like they're on track. They can get enough points to get out of it. Newcastle have been gaining, gaining momentum. Everton are struggling a bit. Leeds obviously have been losing a bit. Brentford, they look great at one point, but at the moment it looks like they might drop. I don't know. Watford, Norwich and someone else. Uh, Brentford, speaking of Brentford and Newcastle, they play each other. Yes, and actually, uh, Brentford actually, uh, they have got Norwich after Newcastle 
and then um, Watford. Brentford's next three games are Newcastle, Norwich and Watford. If they can win all three, they're dead. <laughs> the chance of them going down is a lot lower. Um, they're going to want to look at that and think, yeah, well, we, we really need to pick up some wins now. Um, but Newcastle, they haven't lost in a while. It's hard to bet, bet, bet on them losing at the moment. But a loss will come at some point. I, I do think they'll stay up, though, the way they're going. Um, Brentford haven't won in a while. Newcastle are away. I predict a 1-1 draw. I've gone very boring with that after all that talk. Brighton v Aston Villa. Um, two teams that have slipped up recently after, you know, doing okay for a bit. Um, honestly, I'm not sure. I feel like it could go either way because both teams are making mistakes. Both teams are losing games as of late. Um, so this is a complete guess because honestly it could be anything to me. I'm going to go for a 2-1 Villa win. Villa bounce back. Brighton continue to struggle a little bit. Crystal Palace v Burnley. I predict will be a 2-1 Crystal Palace victory. Man United, I think, will beat Watford 2-0, um, I reckon. Everton will lose to Man City. I'm going to say it's a 4-1 emphatic Man City victory. West Ham v Wolves, I predict to be a 2-1 West Ham win. A narrow 2-1 West Ham win. You may have noticed no Liverpool. They're in the cup final against Chelsea. And that's why there's no Chelsea either. Arsenal are meant to play Liverpool this weekend. Uh, so that's been postponed, obviously, to a different date. Already been rescheduled, I think, to like a week or two uh, in, the, in, the future, in the near future. But uh, yeah, as you've noticed, less games than usual. But um, obviously, we also got the game in Andia between Burnley and Leicester. A 2-2 two -two draw, I reckon. So uh, Burnley could really jump up here. They've got a couple games to bounce up. But Palace away is tough. And the other game is Leicester. You never know. But we'll see. Um, also with uh, with Fantasy League. I almost forgot about that. Yeah. Uh, I bench boosted. I should have done the free hit. A lot of people did free hit for this. They put Salah in. He got a lot of points. I bench boosted. Because I thought, hey. They've all got two games. None of them played. I think Foster played one of the two games. Foster had two as well. I think he played just one. Well, that, I've wasted bench boost. I've wasted, I've wasted bench boost for nothing. Yeah. Um, one of you did tell me. Like, I asked, should I bench boost? Someone else said, don't do it. But unfortunately, I read the comment after the game week started. After, it start, after the first game started, I read that comment. So, uh, I was like, oh, no. Uh, but yeah, um, I, I don't I don't know what to do here. Um, I'm not going to free hit it now, definitely not. But uh, at some point, maybe. Let me bring in a midfielder. But who? Ten. Who do I bring in? Who have we got? We don't play this weekend, so I can't bring in Saka. <laughs> That'd be a bit stupid, wouldn't it? Um, yeah, who can I bring in that's playing? <laughs> no one here is playing. <laughs> none of the top play, none of the top defenders are actually playing today, this weekend, uh, because they're playing in the uh, cup final or they just got the game postponed. Um. I want to bring someone in, not just for the sake of it, but I need points. I guess I'll bring in Zaha, hopefully he scores it in a home game. Uh, so yeah, we've got a few injury doubts, but um, <laughs> San Maximan, he's got a knock. Um, I want to put Rafinha, obviously Shimkat's not going to play anyway, so Rafinha straight in. Um, sorry. Yep, that's good. I'll keep Ronaldo as captain, but um, I'll definitely consider bringing Salah in within a couple weeks. Uh, ideally, I'd want Ronaldo and Salah. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to do that without shifting the entire team. But we'll see. <laughs> My points are done anyway. It's not like I'm going to get much. 
Um, so it, it is what it is. I'm not going to triple captain. I am not going to triple captain. Bernardo can be vice. Doesn't matter too much anyway. So it depends if he doesn't play right. But yeah, um, yeah, that's it for on that front. This is your boy Davidoff. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and see ya.